Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I I want to do like I'm probably gonna make two videos today, maybe I don't know. One that's very Taylor Swift. I want this video to just be Taylor Swift, <laughs> and then I'll do another video about other stuff. I went with my coworker, my new friend. I hope she considers me a friend because I consider her a friend. Um, we went to a Taylor Swift trivia night. It was a mess in a half. Like, okay, so we're in Orlando. You know what's in Orlando? A lot of people. So they don't do, it's not a ticketed event and it's a small place. What did they think would happen? Probably that the fire department would come and say, hey, all you people leave, which is what happened. So, um, it was a mess. There was a beer that I really wanted. It was called Zwifties. Um, I really wanted it, but they didn't have it there. Like, they sold out immediately. So I got, also I think I was overcharged because I got a lavender lemonade that was there. And I also got a like slice of Oreo cheesecake and it was $17 and the lemonade was only five. So why was I charged $17? Blech, disgusting. $12 for a piece of Oreo cheesecake? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, this is what the beer looks like. So it's purple and it has Taylor Swift on it. And it's from Tactical Brewing. It's a sour with lemon, calamansi, I don't know what that is, rhubarb, lavender, and butterfly pea. The floral presence balanced with a sweet and tart finish on this beer really makes it out to be such an enjoyable experience. The purple presentation from the purple pea, or from the butterfly pea is chef's kiss. So, they had it, I saw it, but um, by the time I got to check out which by the way I was the last person that they let get something to eat or drink and I was with my friend so you know what I didn't do which I should have like hindsight I should have been like we're together let her order something beach but I didn't because I don't like confrontation <laughs> if you're with your friends <laughs> and they cut it off in the middle Vouch for your friends. Like, I don't know why I did. I, I was just very overwhelmed. It was a very overwhelming experience. There were a lot of people around. I already have anxiety. And I was kind of freaking out. Um, but anyway, vouch for your friends. Like, don't be me. Um, but I need to find this tactical brewing place and um, get this beer because I really want it. So they made this big deal over this trivia night. And uh, we didn't even get to play because the fire department came and was like, everybody who's not in a seat has to leave. So we went out front so I could eat my cake. And then I was like, let's just go back in and see what they're doing. So I, we went back inside and I listened to, well, we listened to them do the trivia and we knew every answer. So... We would have won, like, if, if it was just me and her, like, on our team or whatever, because they did teams there, we would have won. I don't know what the prize was, but we would have won whatever it was, because we knew all of the answers. So that's annoying. It was very nice to see her outside of work. It was the first time we've ever seen each other outside of work, and um, we got along very well. Uh, we left there and went to Miller's Ale House, which is like a sports bar. Um, so we went there. They had jello shots, but they didn't. It was not my night. I was so excited for jello shots. Like, we were real, we were talking about jello shots earlier that night, and then we go to Miller's, and they had jello shots on the board. Like, they had a little sandwich board that said jello shots, and I was like, yes, I love jello shots. And we sat down, and I was like, I told the waiter, I am so excited for these Jello shots. When I saw that, I was so excited. And they were like, oh, that's great. Let me go check to see what flavors we have. She came back. We ain't got none. It was not my night. But, <laughs> but I got a little margarita, so it's okay. For the 
Taylor Swift trivia night. I made this little bag. I sewed it together and everything, and it's Taylor Swift. And then you open it, and I made friendship bracelets. Like, they said it was going to be, like, friendship bracelets and everything. And it was just a total mess. So hopefully if they ever do this again, which I don't know if they will, if they do, they really need to make it a ticketed event. Like, how dumb are you? First of all, how dumb are you? But second of all, you know how much more money you could make if you ticketed this event? What you need to do is make it $20 to get in, which includes a drink ticket. You would have made 20 bucks off each person. Plus, if kids are coming, you just made a lot of money off them because they can't even drink the alcohol, which would make it worth the $20. Instead, they're buying a $5 drink instead of a $10 beer or whatever. So you just made double money off of them. And then you don't get shut down. How, what? So, anyway, I'm mad at them. But I will show you my friendship bracelets that I made. and They're very cute. I'm probably just going to put them on my Etsy shop because they're very cute. Um, so I'm probably going to put them on my Etsy shop. And then if people want them, they can buy them. People really aren't buying friendship bracelets anymore. But if they do, here's some options. So I don't know how much I'm going to sell them for, probably like five bucks or whatever, like nothing crazy and free shipping because I can just put them in an envelope or whatever. But these are what I have. So this is the presentation because I'm cute. So it's a little bag, like a little pink jewelry bag, and it has my uh, Etsy card in it, which is Natalie Creates Art on Etsy. Um, and you use, I'll just give you the coupon. If you want to buy anything off my Etsy shop, use code LOVE10 for 10% off orders. So this is what my card looks like. Isn't it cute? So, um, if you want something from my Etsy shop, I'll probably make more stuff. Maybe I'll put some scrunchies on there. Some sewed scrunchies. I don't know what else I'll put on there. I'll, I'll put more stuff on my Etsy shop. I think I'm going to make that more of a priority this year. But this is the first, this is upside down. This is the first is it upside down now? I can't tell because it's, no, this is right. Okay. Because it's back backwards in my camera. Um, it's a folklore. My mind turns your life into folklore. I can't dare to dream about you anymore. So this is the first little friendship bracelet. It has two little stars, one on each side of the folklore word, and then the beads are like these really pretty glittery gray. Uh, I do have to trim that end. It's a cute little bracelet though. It's a little one. It's a, it's a tiny one. I don't know why I made it so small, but anyway, I also made this one, which is the one that I always wear, and it says, there's nothing like a mad woman. What a shame she went mad. And these beads are really pretty. You can see like the blue in them. Um, and then I have little stars on the, each side of Mad Woman. There's like a line there from where I always wear this bracelet. I went to the beach. You can tell I'm very tan and also a little burnt. So um, I went to the beach and I have lines under here too from wearing these at the beach. So that's the first little bracelet. I think that's really cute. My next one red, ad, 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 looks like this. It says red in little red, like almost see-through uh, beads, and then they have hearts, and then um, red and white beads in the back. This is a cute one. I like this one. It looks like this. Do you know? <laughs> Probably. Do you know about the Beautiful Eyes EP? Uh, I think it's great. Beautiful Eyes is a great song. Um, what else is on that album? I haven't heard it in a long time. Um, I Heart Question Mark isn't on there. What's that other song that's on Beautiful Eyes? I have to dig it out because I have it, but I don't I don't remember the songs that are on there. I know it's like, I think I'm Only Me When I'm With You is on there or something like random songs are on there. But there's also a song that's on there that you never hear. I can't remember what song it is. But anyway, here's the Beautiful Eyes bracelet, and it has the orange beads on the back. This is cute. I like this one. Your beautiful eyes stare right into my eyes. You're welcome. 
This one's a fun one too. I like this one. I like all of them. That's why I made them. Silly. Um, this says, Lover, can I go where you go? So it looks like this. Uh, it has all different colors from the that's in the Lover picture. Uh, or what do they call that? Album cover. <laughs> and it has like pink and blue little brace, little beads here. And then they have blue and pink star beads like that and more beads and little heart beads in the back which I kind of wish I had another bead in between these two so you can actually see that they're hearts instead of them being like clumped together can't really tell that they're hearts so but it's really cute I really like this one this one's cute and it's heavy kind of heavy it's a big one the next one is a very plain one but it's still kind of cute it is Taylor's version um, and the little hearts on the side, and then white beads in the back. So it's very kind of plain, a little subdued, but it's cute. It's a good one. These would be good little gifts. If you have a friend who's a Taylor Swift, like, diehard fan, and you're like, you're kind of friends, but also like, you don't want to freak her out by buying her something big or something like that. Like, give her a little bracelet. Or you could ship it to their house. Just put their address in instead of yours. And it'll go straight to them in this cute little bag. Here's this one. It says, you need to calm down. You're being too loud. And it has, again, those pink and blue beads. These are such pretty beads. I love these beads. And then little hearts. And then regular beads in the back and then there's one more this one might do I have favorites if I do it's this one um, it's speak now Ow! and it's a cute this is a I really like this bracelet not gonna lie it kind of reminds me of the um, Wonderstruck perfume like I don't know the clunkiness of it reminds me of the Wonderstruck perfume but it says speak how do I hold this it says speak now and it has all these big chunky beads little stars and all kinds of different beads this is a fun one this is another kind of little one huh oh this is a little one so if you got big old hands it might not fit over your hand like mine it doesn't fit over my hand to get to my wrist which kind of sucks I might have to make a another one that's a little bit larger which I probably will because I really like the way this one turned out and I'll just put like an extra bead in it or something or two to make it a little larger but those are the bracelets I made I think they're very cute I'm gonna make a couple more probably and put them on my Etsy shop just so it's not just those I don't know maybe I'll start with those and if they are uh, received well I'll make some more um, so I hope you enjoyed looking at those and my little story time about a night that went wrong. <laughs> it was still a fun night, but like, that was a mess. Like, you know better. With Swifties, they will show up. Like, oh, I didn't know we'd have this big of a turnout. You had over like two or three hundred people like the status that you posted on Instagram about the event. What did you think would happen? Five people would show up? No, it doesn't work like that. We show up, so um, I'm mad at them, but it's okay because it was still fun. If I went by myself, I would have been in a really bad mood, but I went with a friend, so it's okay. How are you liking the Speak Now re-recording? I think it's 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 fine. Um, I just, I prefer the original. I don't listen to it because we don't listen to the stolen editions around here. But um, I, yeah, it's not my favorite. Like, I've, I've seen a lot of people say, like, this is the best re-recording so far. And I'm like, I mean, everyone has their opinions. But mine is the exact opposite of yours, Henny. Like, no. But, um... That's just me. Like, maybe you love it. 
let me know um, how you feel about it. <sighs> Not my favorite. Um, my ranking is Red First. That was a perfect re-recording. That is my favorite album. She did an incredible job on it. Vault Tracks, perfect. That was a perfect re-recording. Next is Fearless because I don't care about the Vault Tracks, but she did a very good job on the actual Fearless album. I think she did a wonderful job re-recording. I think there are certain songs that she has done better than the original. Last place to speak now because I don't think it's as good. It's not as she doesn't have the same feeling, the same emotion that Speak Now original version had. Um, it feels watered down, and I don't like it as much. And I don't care about the vault tracks either. Even I can see you. I don't care about that song. Um, so that's my thoughts on it. I'm so sorry. She's still my number one. She will always be my number one. But I don't like the Speak Now Taylor's version. Um, I'll still listen to it. I still listen to it in the car and everything, but like, I don't like it that much. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking before you unsubscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!